because of the gospel of redemption that we preach many people have sent messages to me we are gonna kill you you are, you are joking you are joking I, I don't hold tightly to life this life oh man oh man you met the wrong man the day you come with your guns I will I will hold it for you to shoot because I know whom I believed the one I believe he death could not hold him captive so his end did not come because of death and because I believe in him, I will have the same fate. I will triumph over death through his name. When you find a man afraid, he doesn't know him who is his light and his salvation. For the psalmist said that the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? There's still fear in your spirit. It's because you don't know. To do what we do, we risk our lives many times. To preach what we preach on the platforms, we preach it. Yes, it is because it's, it's because we know that even if it results in death, I have gained. Because it's only a man that lives for Christ whose death is gained. These, these things of which I speak, if you don't know, if you don't know, by the knowing of revelation, you will say this man preaching is mad. Because he's speaking from a dimension. We are not all the same. We are not all the same. So we will not be saying the same things. Not every preacher will be saying, you, you buy a car, you buy a car, you buy a car. No, we are not the same. <laughs> Hallelujah. A few of us have heard the whispers of God. He knew. He knew that his father has committed all things into his hands. He was checking with his father. Have I finished? When he saw, uh, yeah, oh, uh, oh, I, I finished? He knew. Even on the cross, they couldn't break him. They couldn't break him. The prisoners mocked him. Save yourself and us. He knew. He says, all the while I was on, hanging on this cross, I was retained with the authority to summon, to pray the father, that he might send 12 legions of angels, so if I wanted to come down, I know how to come down. The knowledge of how to come down is with me. But there's something else I know that you know not enough. His conviction, his posture, his comportment in the face of death was occasioned by an inner intuitive knowledge, a whisper that came from the Holy Ghost and nothing could kill that whisper. They may take away your coat of many colors, but there's something they can never take away. <laughs> he knew if you can leave this place with a knowing your circumstance may not change but you know the way you relate with that circumstance will be different and because you are relating differently your circumstance will change I know I know I know I know the next time you see the devil, tell the devil, I know! Alright, so I will show us these senses so that we can know it and you can know its operation. Because that's your passageway into the realm of understanding. When those senses are mobilized, it means it's an invitation. It's a summon for you to cross beyond your natural senses and to learn things that cannot be taught those are the weapons that spiritual people use on earth that can part the red sea of the economy first sense if this is the time then uh, i think i need to stop I'm, I'm seeing one something that looks like the time Okay. All right, give me John chapter 13. I'll show you the first sense, show you the second sense. We'll stop. I'll continue tomorrow. I'll show you the third and the fourth before I go into the message of tomorrow. We'll finish this one tomorrow morning. Then we'll go into the message of tomorrow. The message of tomorrow is prophetic because I expect that you now know how the senses work. So I will take you to the realm 
that realm that we've been talking about will begin to operate there to show you the pillars that hold the civilization of that realm your life should not operate anything short of what you will see tomorrow it's from these new eyes and these new lenses that it makes available to us that we can judge things we can know that this nation is dying we can know that that one is springing forth like a tender plant oh my god your judgment will change your perspective will change your worldview will change because the spirit of the kingdom of God has found its way into your heart. Oh, you will no longer judge after the sight of the eyes or the hearing of the ears. Your scepter will become righteousness. And with it, you will war and conquer kingdoms. Wrought righteousness. Hallelujah. So I'm in John chapter 13 now. He said, now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew, can you underline knew, knew, that his hour was come that he should depart out of this world unto the Father. Having loved his own which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. And supper being ended, the devil, having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus, knowing, underline knowing, that his father had given all things into his hands, Jesus, knowing that he was come from God, Jesus, knowing that he went to God. So your first spiritual sense is what we call the knowing of revelation. He knew that his hour had come. He did not know because he attended the University of Johannesburg. It was the knowing of revelation. That's one, that's one aspect of your spiritual sense. He knew that he was come from God. He knew that his father has given all things into his hands. He knew that he was going back to God. You cannot break a man that knows. It doesn't matter how long you torture him, persecute him, put him under pressure. He knows. When you know something by the spirit, it becomes as much a part of you as your own beating heart. It was Paul that said in the book of First Timothy chapter 2, he said, because of this, I've suffered many things, but I am not ashamed. Why? Because I know him whom I have believed and I'm persuaded that he's able to keep that which I've committed unto him as against that day. It means that the reason why he was not afraid of eternity was because, even when death stared him in the face was because he knew who he had believed. So you can't threaten that kind of a man with death. You know, there are prayers that we pray from earth to heaven. And there are prayers that we pray from heaven to earth. Because in your current reality, you are seated with Christ in heavenly places, far above principalities and You can pray from that reality. I, I, I'm just talking dimensions. So the Bible says, it shall make him of Ruach understanding. Stay. Stay. What is the implication? What is the implication that results when he makes you of Ruach understanding? And Ruach understanding means he breathes upon you. And as he's doing that, his breath now activates your spiritual senses and brings you into an understanding that you cannot find in the library. When you receive Ruach understanding in the fear of the Lord, the first implication is that you will not judge after the sight of your eyes. So Ruach understanding is a superior manifestation of senses that can substitute your physical senses. But only men that trust that dimension can leave this dimension to go so that they will hold on to the dimension that is accessible when he releases Ruach into your spirit you no longer judge after the sight of your eyes if, if uh, it will interest you to know that the scripture says that if the only sight you have is what your eyes give you then you are blind so he wants us to operate from another dimension entirely when you look at the nation 
you don't analyze it after the dialect of the local politics and who is uh, all the political parties those are orchestrations those are those are manifestations but your own perceptions will come because there's ruach understanding you can afford to despise the things that you have seen by the sight of your eyes you can afford to despise the things that you are seeing by the hearing of your ears if you can successfully despise the judgment that comes through your sight and the understanding that comes through your ears that's when you qualify to wage war with righteousness you become a different entity entirely just because your reality is hooked on to the consciousness that the holy spirit brings into your verse if you are still with me say amen, amen. it was in london i finished ministering a powerful event and i didn't want to miss the flight so we went to heathrow i and my wife took a room in the hotel and we were listening to hymns and we slept up and satan came to me in my dreams three times that night he brought gold and i'll give you all the gold you ever need but i want you to do something for me i said are you not aware that i'm the one that was chosen by heaven to destroy what you are building he said he knows i know that's why he, he said we, must, we don't need to fight <laughs> do you know he was as handsome the, he was beautiful the, what they showed us in sunday school was is wrong He doesn't stammer, he's fluid with his speech. He's so so cognitive, so smart. He brought something, he called it as access cards, access cards to kings and nations. Say, you will meet them. So after he failed the first time, failed the second time, he came the third time. And the third time was in the morning. We went for breakfast. We had bre breakfast. We came back to the room. I slept off again. And he showed us. Hey, you know we have not finished the discussion. I know whom I have believed. The moment you say that, you will walk away. Yeah. Apostle, do you know that my troubles began after those encounters? My trouble, the ones you've seen on social media. This, whoa, whoa, whoa. The real story was because I told him, I know whom I have believed. And we have vowed that we will never fail him because we know please sit down so that's the first seven flames of fire and I asked what means this sign and the Lord said there are seven prophets seven prophets in this auditorium he wants to activate you so the activation begins it begins it begins it begins, it begins, it begins, it begins, it begins. Holy Ghost! Ah. There is a fire descending on a woman. There is a fire descending on a woman. And it's coming with intensity. Stop on my car. Ruach Elohim. Ruach Elohim. Ruach Elohim. Ruach Elohim. Feel this pain. It's coming stronger. It's coming stronger, coming stronger, coming stronger. I want us to pray a prayer that the Lord will increase the measure of the spirit of intercession on my life. Let there be an increase in the measure. Let there be an increase in the measure. Can somebody talk to the Lord right now? 
an increase in that measure an increase in that measure I see a woman in the spirit you're an intercessor and anytime you do any long intercession you receive attacks from the devil it's because of the family from whence you have come there are witches in that family and God raised you up as his instrument to destroy the fellowship of witches because of this there is an empowerment from heaven that is coming upon your life there is an empowerment there is an empowerment there is an empowerment there is an empowerment that comes upon your life so that you can challenge name of Jesus there's an empowerment on those women because you are going back with this empowerment and when you decree things the witchcraft installations will be uprooted God is adding authority to your anointing it's adding his oh my god it's adding his authority oh my god oh my god I see heaven open I see heaven open I see heaven open this is the time to make a request from heaven you can make a request right now Lord I ask Moria sike ba mora hasandolia, resko falami na siko pre, esosilo brondo bokoria bahamanda. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tomorrow evening will be a worship and healing service, so um, all kinds of miracles will be taking place here tomorrow. But today, by instruction. By instruction, I'm led to pray for everyone with an eye problem. By instruction, eyes right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind every blinding spirit. Blinding spirits be bound. And come out of those eyes in the name of Jesus Christ. So I speak to short-sightedness, be gone. I speak to long-sightedness, be gone. I speak to glaucoma, be gone. I speak to astigmatism, be gone. I speak to cataract, be gone. I speak to photophobia, be gone. Every defect of the eye, from blurry vision to teary eyes to complete blindness, I speak to blinding spirits. Take away your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. So I speak to the eyes. I see. I see. I see. Remove your hands and run a check on your eyes. Two minutes check. If you sense there is improvement in your sight, you come towards my left and Untitoko, please arm yourself with a microphone. We'll take five testimonies before I pray. There's a prayer that is in my spirit that I want to pray for you. Hey, woman, uh, call her. Call her. There's a prayer in my spirit that I want to pray for you. There's a prayer in my spirit I want to pray for you. So if you notice that there's an improvement on your side, you come that way. The rest of you, be seated for two minutes. As you are running the check, you have two minutes. You have two minutes to run the check. And when you run the check, you confirm it. You can come here. The reason why I want you to come is because of an instruction that I want to carry out. When you notice after your check that there's an improvement on your side, Go right there. Go right there. So while they, they gather together, I need to begin to tell you the stories of the visions that I'm seeing right here. For instance, I beheld in the spirit and I saw a linen garment descending from heaven. I've seen it sometimes before. And anytime I see this linen garment, 
it's indicative of the fact that there is someone in the room whose calling is to carry the presence of God from place to place. So as I speak, the owner of this garment, this garment will drop on the person and there will be evidence that it has dropped. So ushers, you bring him for me. I need to touch him on his forehead to confirm what go Oh, shh! A medical condition that affected her eyesight. She tries to see. She cannot see very far. She cannot see very far. While you were praying, her eyesight was restored. Her eyesight was restored. Can we give? Lord, we give you praise, and we name it permanent in the name of Jesus. Yes. We've got Sister Lisiba here. She was struggling with eyes, um, but after the prayers were made, she can now see clearly. She can see clearly. Come. Lord, we give you praise in Jesus' name. Yes, our sister here, our sister here, since she was 10 years old, she cannot see very well. It's a medical condition that she's been living with since she was 10 years old. Since you were 10 years old? All our kids suffer the same condition. Where are your kids? Are they here? Only one here. Come. So what happened to you when I prayed? I had my hands. Yeah, yeah. Speak into the microphone. I had my, my hand. No, you are, you, are, you are whispering. Can you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, can you speak? So Is it possible? The apostle asked that we, we, put, we place our hands on our eyes. I did. I removed my eyes and did. And after I had removed it, when he had finished praying, I looked on the side. I didn't see any of those whiteys with my glasses on. So, you could time. see? Yes. So, oh, when you... I looked at my daughter and I said to her, Now, listen. Even with her glasses on, she, didn't, she couldn't read Jesus. Is a lace. Did I did I did I pronounce it well? Huh? Um, okay, it's exactly what the, he just said. That's what it is. Now, <laughs> even with her glasses, she couldn't see those letters. And now, can you see them with your eyes? She can see them with her eyes. Okay. You too, you have the same condition? Yes. Tell us your condition. But your mother got healed. Did you get healed? No. Okay. Why are you afraid? She's a prayer warrior. And she's afraid of another prayer warrior. Oh, great one. In the name of Jesus, I arrest every blinding spirit okay um who, who is an usher here take her take a a bottle of water go to the restroom let her wash her eyes and bring her back okay uh, we've got sister Ngobile here um when you were preaching she could not see you she was even complaining that i came to the conference but i can't see apostle so she when i was preaching she couldn't see me can you see me now I hope I'm handsome. I believe that. <laughs> yes, make this miracle permanent in the name of Jesus. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? Okay, Apostle, ever since she was young, as far as she can remember, she has struggled to see. Struggled to see. Yeah, but while you were praying now, you were instructed that she put her hands on her eyes. And she was praying along with you. Her eyes are fully restored. They are kind of blurry. They are but still blurry. Look, when I wiped my tears, I could see the screen clear, so I was shocked. And when you were praying, I was... Okay, know. okay. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we give you thanks. We give you praise. I have my eye. Yeah, thank you. Are you, are you an usher? An usher, an usher. For, okay, see. So, in the next five minutes, we will ask you how your eyes are. So, sit down. Five minutes, okay? We'll take two more. We've got Brother Debo for here. Um, when the power took him from the back to the front. When the power took him from the back to the front, is a means of transportation, like a means of. 
when he recovered? He has not recovered. He has not recovered. Yes, he's recovering. Ah, he's recovering. Okay. He has just realized that he has gotten back his sight. So he realized as he's recovering that he got back his sight. <laughs> Hallelujah. But you know, but the power has not yet finished the errand. <laughs> From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Woo. Woo, 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 woo. Yes, what happened to mommy? Apostle, uh, her case is different. She said she noticed a shadow on her right eyes. Wait. Yes, what's happening there? Um, her left eye, um, when she was making fire, the spark went into her eye. And then the left eye became partially blind. But as the prayers were made, she began to feel an improvement. But it's still not fully complete. It's not fully complete, but there's an improvement. Yeah. So let me speak to Mommy. Put the mic on her mouth. Mommy, how was it before and how is it now? I've been done it before. Now mind. Now he is, I see you. But there is okay, you can see him. Yes. So before this time, you will not be able to see him. It's cloudy. But she can see. She can see, but it's still not clear. It's not clear, but previously, could she see with the eye or was it blind? She's saying that the eye could only see partially in the morning, um, but the, the left eye was completely dead. Was dead. So. But nowadays, now it, she can see why it's cloudy. <laughs> Restore. Restore. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Can you give Jesus a big hand? <laughs> I bless you in the name of Jesus. Yes, what happened there? Uh, so when you take one, you'll be working on one so that we don't waste time. There is Sister Lunati here. Okay. Uh, she just wore the glasses just to prove that she was wearing glasses. Okay, so she just put it on just to prove that this was how she was getting by. Did you try reading or without it? I could read with, with, the, with or without the glasses, but I had glaucoma, so this eye was operated, it was partially blind. So, yes. So now I can see color. You were operated on that eye? Because of glaucoma. So it became partially blind? Yes. But so now I can see color. She can see color. But it's a big child. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Even by tomorrow, it will be better. Papa. Now, you see, this is how I want it. I don't want a waste of time. You, you talk to someone, the moment we finish this, you talk, then you'll be accessing. So, okay? Yes, what happened? Papa, this miracle is unbelievable. If, if there's a miracle, why is she still putting this on? It, it, it's unbelievable, Papa. Okay, okay, I want to believe. <laughs> so, her right eye was, con was not connecting to her brain. Her right eye was not connecting to her brain. So, what her right eye would do it, is that it would just turn to the side or do whatever that it wants. It would just be dancing by itself, just moving, just by itself. And she was booked for an operation. But as you can see now, the eyes are moving together. The eyes are moving together. <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> now, wait. Who came with this? There's no way. She's the mother. So talk to us. So two years ago, her brain stopped communicating with her right eye. So I took Does that... Is, does it have a name? Medical name? Doctor? Or the doctors how will the brain just decide I, i'm no longer interested in communicating with the eyes <laughs> so we, uh, you see, she's... <laughs> okay she is seeing um she's going for physio on the eye but it's not helping they prescribed some special lenses that have just damaged her eyesight now she can't see far at all so as her mother can you confirm this testimony that is real yes her eyes moving with the other one usually this one it will move can someone this is a, <laughs> this 
You know, sometimes when these things happen, they say, maybe I and Apostle yesterday night were going to look for people that will come and I don't know them. I don't have we have you seen me before? Do you know me? I so we were not in the market looking for people. I just came from London. I just came from London. Tired. And then I had to preach yesterday, even though I came yesterday. So we didn't have time. We're too tired to go to the market looking for. <laughs> Glory to God in the <laughs> So now, now I say your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Yes? Who is stretch? You need to stretch your hands here. You know what? We want to call them from the grave. Just be calling them out of the grave. Call them. Keep calling them. Keep calling them. Stand up. Yeah. Come out, come out from the grave. Come forth. Come forth in the name of Jesus. Grave. Give up. Give up. Release. Release them that are your captives. I break your power over them. I destroy your power over their lives. Grave. Give up. So the angel of the Lord just touched me here. Whenever it does that, it means that there's somebody the Lord brought into this conference because he wants to renew your anointing. And in the next 17 seconds, he will do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16 17 Yes Be strengthened Take hold of your shield and your sword For the days of battle are upon us be strengthened. Now, yes, I think Apostle Dan will give us. There's a song we need to sing. There's something I've been trying to understand, but I've been kept from it. Maybe, a, maybe a song from the Spirit will help. Sumangre de no soplo y tapa, 
sangrana maya la la sulebo solo sumene ya tuno ya ma sikriye buno buna maya kata si ya batani ya That which was taken shall be restored. And that which is dead shall come back to life again. Yeah. 